Welcome back. Now things are going to start to get more interesting, a little bit more fun. We're going to start playing with Lagoa and getting some stuff going. We're going to start with our first example project out of many in this training product. So I'm going to open up an example scene here. And the scene you're looking for is called Example 1, Sink. So let's open that up. And what you notice, it's a pretty simple uh, kitchen setup. We have a sink with a faucet. And as you can imagine, we're going to go ahead and emit some particles sort of create a watery effect of a fluid coming down from the faucet and interacting with the sink below and kind of uh, collecting at the bottom of the sink right there. Okay, so the way we're going to do this is pretty easy. First thing we need to do is create an emitter object. So I'm going to go to primitive, get myself a null object, and I'm going to place it over here at about the uh, tip of the faucet right there. Something like that looks pretty good. Also, I like to go into the nulls options and switch it over to rings for the icon. It just, I don't know, it just makes sense. And we already have a collision object, which is the sink itself, so we're good. So with the null selected, I'm going to go over to the Create Particles menu, Lagoa. I'm going to select Volume Emission. Uh, because I already had the null selected, it already knows that. So the next thing to do is select the uh, Collider object. I don't have to select the null again and then the Collider object. So let me open up the uh, Ice Friendly View over here. All right, let me refresh the ice tree. So there's our ice tree that makes our Lagoa particles work. I've got the emit grid uh, node PPG open up right now. I'm going to switch the resolution per unit to about 0.3. Uh, I'm going to take the generation mode here. I'm going to switch it to hex. I'm also going to make this to emit every frame. And all this other stuff looks pretty good. Um, let me go ahead and hit play. And you'll see what we've got. The particles come down very, very slowly, which is not good. So let me make a few changes here. First of all, in the timeline, I'm going to switch from 100 frames to 1,000. Usually I like to do 10,000, but I think 1,000 will work in this case. Also, the particles are moving way too slow, almost like a syrup. That's because they're having a tough time fighting through our air density. If I look at my Lagoa Forces node, you'll notice that we have air density on, and it's too high. Let me turn it off. And again, what I like to do is I like to go to the Lagoa Forces, grab myself the Lagoa Air Density node, and I'll plug this into the Forces 1 port of the Add Forces node right there, compound. And you notice we've got some pretty good air density settings here. So now if I hit play, uh, the particles still move a little bit slow right there. We'll fix that. Another thing I like to do is I'm going to open up my uh, camera, my camera view uh, visibility settings here. You could do that using Shift S, by the way. I'm going to go to the Stats uh, menu over here, and I'm going to turn on Show Frame Rate so I can see at what speed this stuff is moving. Okay, another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to optimize this a bit, so I'm going to open up the Multi Physics node over here. And I don't need all of this stuff calculating, so it's wasting a lot of performance there. So I'm going to turn off the Elastic Range, Plastic Flow, Viscosity, Inelastics, Elastics, and let me see if there's anything else I want to change. Nope, everything else looks pretty good. You could lower the amount of substeps to two just to go a little bit faster, but that's just going to make the particles probably fly to the bottom of the sink, so I'm not going to do that. Let's play again. Still moving a little bit slow. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is I want to get more of a liquid behavior. If I look at the main material, which is connected here by default, uh, we don't really have the best settings here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the main material. And I'm going to go to my material types over here. And I'm going to grab myself a liquid water compound. Drag and drop it over here. And I'm going to plug it into the execute one node. As you can see right here. If I open up its PPG. You notice it already has some pretty good settings uh, set up for us. So if I hit play, water starts to drip down starts to fall down a little bit faster. Um, it's falling down, but maybe I want to give it an extra push. So let me go over to the Emit Grid node that I have over here. I still have it locked down. And I'm going to go to the uh, Initial Force in the Y. And I'm going to put something like maybe negative 5, just to give it an extra push, because I want that water to kind of push out there with a little bit of pressure. So there it goes. It's falling down. It's coming down with some pressure, uh, which is pretty good. If you want, you can lower the surface tension or some of this external pressure. Play around with these settings to get something that you like. So this looks pretty good. It's just kind of like dripping water. It just kind of flows down. So if you want, you can go ahead and play around with these settings until you get yourself a liquid behavior that you're happy with. 
for tutorial purposes and in the interest of getting through this um, at a pretty good rate, I'm just going to go ahead and move forward and let you go in there and play with the settings uh, in your free time. For now, I'm going to say I'm happy with this and it looks good. Alright, so I'm going to close that and uh, let me see if there's anything else I want to do here. Let me close that. I think I'm pretty happy with that. It's a good starting point. I'm going to go ahead and um, uh, stop this video here. And in the next one, we'll just uh, continue working on this effect.